This week's job of the week is about collecting data from a source we often find ourselves wanting to get data from, but can be a lot harder than it looks. It may also give Joseph an idea as to how he can crawl web pages searching for MySQL libraries using Talend, for those of you who remember episode 1. In this job, I will be keeping it as simple as possible so that I don't go on for too long. I'll be using Talend to extract link titles and URLs from a website. Here you can see just how simple the job structure is. The first component we have is the THTTP request component. We can see the URI is set to a web page, in this case www.bbc.co.uk. The method is set to get. The next component is a tflow to iterate component. The main purpose of this is to allow the HTML page data to be stored in the global map, with the next component triggered by an iterate link. This will allow the next component, a tjava flex, to be initiated for every row. We can see in the tjava flex that we have the start code, main code and end code populated. We'll look at that again later. Finally, we have the tlog row. This has been configured to vertical mode to display the output vertically. Arguably, the most important feature of this job design is the routine that allows the use of the JSUP library, the HTML scraping tools routine. The first thing we'll look at is how the JSUP library is used here. To link it, we go to Edit Routine Libraries and set the JSUP library. I realised when filming this that the version of the JSUP library had been updated, so I will show how to set it again in a few minutes. But before we do that, let's look at the code in the routine. The HTML scraping tools routine has just one method called find links. This takes one parameter, which is the HTML body of the web page being processed. The method returns an array list of hash maps, which hold the link data found. The body string is passed by the JSUP class and we select all link elements, represented by the A tag. If any links are found, we go to a while loop to inspect each link element found. We retrieve the elements href, text and title attributes. These values are added to a hash map which will be added to the return val array list. The code to do that can be seen here. We see it added to the return val array list here. Once the loop is complete, the return val is returned here. Let's take another look at the tjava flex to show how this is used in the job. The find links method is supplied with the HTML body which is stored in the global map by the tflow to iterate. You can see that the global map key is row1.responseContent. This represents the row and the column. The findLinks method is returned to an ArrayList variable called links, and we create an iterator from that variable. This drives the while loop which calls the main code section to fire. In the main code section, we first retrieve the next hash map we will look at for every firing. We then retrieve the title and text values to variables. We retrieve the href value to the href output row column. Finally, we check to see if the text value is null. If it is, we set the output row title column to title, otherwise we set it to text. This is to ensure the output row title column is not null. In the encode section, we simply close the while loop. Now I need to make a small change to a previous setting in the job. Previously, I had the job processing the BBC News website. Unfortunately, I discovered while recording this that there was some unfortunate news which wasn't really appropriate to show here, so I am changing it to the science news section of the BBC. Nothing unfortunate can be found here. To do this, I simply remove the old URL and add the new one in the URI field of the THTTP request component. 
Now to run the job, with no unfortunate content being displayed this time. As we can see, it works. But before we look in more detail, let's look at the JSuit website. Here we go to jsuit.org forward slash download. I originally built this with version 1.14, but when I came to show the JSuit download page, I noticed that it had been updated to 1.15. Why not show how easy it is to change? So I'm downloading version 1.15 and now I'll go to edit routine libraries of the HTML scraping tools routine. I remove the old library, then add the new one by clicking new and selecting the downloaded library in the install a new module field. Click OK and finish, then we're done. Finally, let's test to see the job will still run with the new library. As we can see, it does. Now to show the content being retrieved matches the web page. I'll search for a link that I know is there. This one is about NASA. We can see the title and URL here. And if we go to the BBC Science page, we can see the same article with a link here. So this was a relatively simple use of the JSuit library with a talent job, but hopefully it gives you a few ideas as to how you can potentially go a lot further with it. As always, let me know if you have any questions.